put the gun down. Wheels in our shop today is a minimum months. And again, we're building the entire vehicle here, so something like the cart uh, is a minimum three month job. But you also have to remember that if you go to a reputable builder, that is the that is a one time purchase in your life. You're going to be going through horses way more than you'll ever be going through wheels and vehicles. Mm. So don't think of it like a car. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a different situation, a completely different scenario. When we go inside, you'll hear an example of what happens if someone doesn't show up to worship once a month. Ask y'all for me, single file line, what happens if following us in? Oh, we were at the corner house. We were at the courthouse and we got to be in a real life court session. Yeah, they put me on trial. Williams Brown, come forth and save thee and thy veils. You were on trial for almost poisoning someone. James, the first parent's information, how do you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty? What's your trial for a slave administering a medicine. Slave, and he tried to poison well, me. And I... Then I became gravely ill. What were your symptoms? When did they begin? Oh, the fever. The awe. Oh, I got sick. I just tried to help. Where are you? Well, are good you thing going? we only convicted you to 30 lashings instead of imprisonment. Yeah. yeah. 30 men lash lashes well laid on their bare back. Ouch. Um, well, right? That's so good, kind. I think those eyelashes hurt. It does show you the tier-based system, the concept of equal treatment under the law. They make no pretense to that. That's a revolutionary concept that our system, what we add to the system, informed by the concepts of natural rights, natural law, of that John Locke philosophy, that we're very fortunate that our founding fathers included in the Constitution. Yeah, it's something about a felony. Real life, real life court session, huh? This court stands adjourned. God save the king. God, God save, save the king. king. Woo, I thank you all so much for joining us today. I think I have applause for those who held back. You have to be a lawyer to pass the bar. That's the bar. <laughs> yes, I have my walkie talkie. Where are you guys? We're walking toward the Capitol building. Capitol. Is that Wilson over on the right?
Hey, what do you see, Millie? Horses. And ponies. Horses and ponies. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare and Promote the blessings of what? liberty. Oh, did I do it wrong? Secure the blessings of liberty. Oh, sorry. Secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Oh, we got a crab back. <laughs> cool. This is William and Mary College. It's what the That's oldest? The Nolan, do you know where we are? No. Going to Chick-fil-A. But not just any Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at <laughs> William and Mary College, the oldest. The oldest college in the country. That's not very big. Yeah, 6,500 undergraduates and 2,500 graduates. Okay. This is the James River. Jamestown Malaria. Jamestown. Woohoo! Well, we I accidentally chose one. I forgot to choose mine. So What'd you get? I got a lady. Do you know who what lady that is? No. Is that Pocahontas? Wait. That's I thought I'd chosen her. That's Pocahontas. Dressed up She's like a English lady. English lady. She spoke English. She was Chief Fountain's daughter. Little turtle? Little turtle right there. That one's very cool looking. Pocahontas was kidnapped in 1613, married to John Rolfe in 1614, taken to England in 1616 where she died in 1617. So Disney kind of took some creative liberties with Pocahontas. It wasn't quite as romantic because it sounded. I read a thing that she didn't save John Smith's life. She brought food to the colony, which John Smith believes saved his life. Right. So it wasn't like him specifically, it was... James Fort Site. One acre. This? No, this fort. This! Ooh. Is this stuff like... 
rebuilds, like is it original? No, they found the foundations and then they built around it. And why is it? So this is the coffin they found. They built the church, then they excavated, and it. But a few times. Okay, this one, uh, this one skinned uh, white-tailed deer and black bear so far. Uh, that's Pennsylvania jasper flint. This ensures, and you'll notice the end is slightly rounded to really concentrate that impact. Okay? Yeah, and if I miss, then it just bounces off the tree, falls to the ground, I pick it up and use it again. All right, generally they're flared, octagonal, <coughs> for maximum strength and impact. Relatives in the raids, husbands, sons, daughters. Yes, there were many women warriors in these eastern forest ladies. There were many women chiefs. There were women traders. There were women diplomats. Oh yes, women and men in the eastern forests of North America were generally equals. Equals. And, uh, you know, there's no greater virtue that I know, well, honesty, but uh, uh, right up there with honesty would be the um, uh, learning to speak well. And we say the Creator gave us two of these and two of these to watch and listen so that we may learn first, then speak what you have learned and speak well, and people will respect you. But I find many people in this world today speaking much but saying little, <laughs> nothing at all. And I have no respect for those people because I know better. And so, yes, if you want to be respected, you watch and listen first, and twice as much as you speak. Our Creator only gave us one of these to speak. You see? But I find it's just the reverse in the modern world, it seems. Why did we not ride horses? Rarely in the eastern woodlands of North America. First of all, we're not nomads. Uh, we're not out there on the Great Plains following the herding bison, okay? okay. The horses have long been on the Atlantic coast by that time, uh, but we rarely ride them. Why? Anyone want to take a guess? Branches? Uh, the woods? The branches? John Smith himself said, wrote, uh, one could easily climb upon a hole. Oh. Holes. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. and sir. Okay, why can't we keep horses? Well, you need grazing land for horses and cattle and sheep and goats. You gotta have grazing land. All the land around our villages is family gardens, it's all under cultivation. You got no grazing land for large livestock once Europeans bring them here, right? So, where are you gonna keep a horse? Where are you gonna keep a cow? If you trade with Europeans for these animals, and we did, we carry them back to the village and butcher them. We got no place to keep them. And so if you haven't got any place to keep a horse, you're not going to ride a horse, right? Even though what I was going to say earlier, John Smith records, one could easily climb on horseback, take off at full gallop, and be unimpeded amidst this forest until one reaches the next creek or river. The forest was that open. This was virgin forest, folks. It's not the forest you know, and generations before you have it known, because the forests of eastern North America have been cut many times since colonial times. Imagine forests of trees, many of which are so huge, and including this island. Four men holding hands, arms outstretched, cannot get around the trunks of the trees. Trees 80 to 150 feet over your head, with leaf canopies so thick sunlight can hardly penetrate it. Thus, not enough light can penetrate to the forest floor to support the growth of many plants under these great trees. Yes, you would have some rose bays, some rhododendrons, uh, hollies, uh, a few dogwoods, you know, but generally the forest is wide open. Father Andrew White, 1634, on the Potomac, writes again, Not only are there a great number of hogwood species amidst these forests, but one could easily drive a wagon drawn by four horses through these forests unimpeded. Hmm. Unimpeded. They need a road. Right on through the forest. It's that open. All right, so that answers the question. Now.
get all the ingredients from, for the glass from the beach. So the ingredients for glass is sand, got it off the beach, soda ash, which would have been seaweed. They get it out of the water, dry it, burn it, get the ash from that, hot ash, which was wood ash, and lime, which would have been moisture shells that they would have gotten off the beach. That little guy struggling for life. Those are the things that are flying around me. Could we try to save it? Sure. Get a stick. Yeah. Oh, he likes your stick. There, we saved his life. Big old butt life. Get it on film. Um, so this is the next day, and William's bird, and I got a pet a horse, and we got to see a parade, and we, then we went to Jamestown, and we saw a big like picture or statue of Pocahontas, and we learned about her, and we went to an old church, and we got to see like. How they built it and or they found it and then they rebuilt it to make a real church but nobody goes there and we got to see there was a tomb that they found and they unburied and it was super cool to see the scouts in there and then we there was this indian guy or like that was telling us about like why they didn't ride horses and about arrows and then we went to the river that was or we first we went to glass the glass place where they make glass and then we went to a river after that because it was like super close to a river. It felt so nice. And then we um, drove to DC after that and it was like four hours, three hours, I don't remember. And we went to Wendy's and then Walmart, that was super late. We got a few stuff and then it was super hard to find parking. And then we got home and it was like, um, or we went to the Airbnb and it was like, we got home at like 11.30 and well that's the end of this vlog. Special report! We saw turtles and I got Aria, my otter. Okay people, welcome back to late Nolan's vlog. Well, back to the normal vlog. So, we... Went to what was it? Oh no. Okay, so we went to Williamsburg early in the morning. We so yesterday we got a tin or I got a tin can from the tin smith. So we were wondering if it was dishwasher safe, so I asked him if the dishwasher safe was like no I don't know why. He's like no but he was like no Sorry about all the no. This is, I got a little bit carried away. So then we went to go see if we could do a horse ride. 
but none of them were available because they didn't have no, they don't have a shortage of horses. They have very many horses. There was a parade going on from 12.30 to 3. And they weren't doing any carriage rides and stuff in between that time. So we didn't do one, sadly. We just um, watched the parade. It was cool because there were like these little kids going, do -do 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 -do. Oh, they're flutes. And then there are people going bong, 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 bong. And they're like drums, like bong, 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 bong. It was really cool. It was super loud. I felt bad for the dogs there because it was like super loud. But for us little puny human ears, we were fine. But then at the very end, it was the Williamsburg like band. So like they had like lots of different bands from lots of different places. And then the last one was the Williamsburg one. So we got to follow it all the way down the street. <laughs> It was fun. And then we left and we um, went to Jamestown. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. So, cancel that. But it's fine. We went to Jamestown and we had an amazing time there. So, it's kind of like a reconstructed version of Williamsburg. And Williamsburg is like a whole town and stuff. This was like used to be a town, but not anymore used to be. Not right now. It was a fort. Jamestown. It's a fort. Not a town. It's a fort. Not a town. Okay, so it was just a historical Jamestown. So basically, there was a was there was a guy that was making stuff there, and he was like building this weird pulley thingy that would pull up thingies. We went in this church, and the church had like a skeleton below it that they didn't know about until they built it reconstructed the church and then they dug below it and there was a skeleton yeah cool i want to see it and then there was this indian dude with like bow and arrows and he's telling sort of like how bow and arrows shot like the sky and like what their different uses were for but yeah and then we went to the glass blowing place and it was a very hot day so the glass blowing wasn't fun to be by because the furnaces were really hot and then but there was right by the river and there was like the sand beach and we went or there was this sandy place by the beach river not beach but we played in that a little bit and then we went to the first one sorry my dad might have been in it so we drove a lot like a lot for hours four whole hours it was exhausting and like really 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 boring but we stopped by wendy's which that was good and we um got i got a two double stacks and then uh, uh we got our dad a ghost pepper chicken sandwich which he likes but my dad, mom, wouldn't let me have any Dr. Pepper. I filled up a whole cup of Dr. Pepper with a large cup. And then she threw it away. I was sad. And then we got our dad some Dr. Pepper. Don't tell our mom this, but he let me have some. Shh. So after Wendy's, we went, or my dad went to Walmart and... He was taking longer than he thought, so we just went there because we only had one car. And then we stayed there for a little bit. Me and us are playing this like drifting game with the cart. So he would sit at the very front of the cart, you know, like at the front, the wheels turn. But if there's too much weight at the front of the cart, they don't turn that well. So the back was super light compared to the front, so it would slide. And we're doing like drifts everywhere. We almost hit a store attendant. Many store attendants. We intended death. But most of all, it was fun, fun, fun! We also found some Mr. Beast Beastables, but our mom and dad didn't let us get them. Mr. Beast, give me four dollars to buy the Beastables. And then we came home, and then we went to this Airbnb, and it has a sketchy alleyway back there. Very sketchy. It's very, very sketchy. And then, yeah, we came here, late o'clock and slept 
in. Slept in. So, yeah. Bye! Okay, so, uh, day, like, five? Five. 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 So, this is day five. We got in the car and went to Williamsburg again, the Colonial Williamsburg or something. And we saw, like, a big parade of loud drums and fifes. And we went to, like, the courthouse and stuff, and I was like, kind of cool, I guess. Apparently Millie pet a horse. And then we left. That place. Did the maze again? Oh, yeah. We did the maze again. And then we left, and... Uh, then we went to... Jamestown. And there was, like, an Indian person that was really cool. And a glassmith. Okay, we got myself. And then we left there. And we went to Wendy's and got food and soda and stuff. Uh, then we went to Walmart and did drifting the shopping carts. Uh, and we got here to our Airbnb. And I can show you around. Alright, this is the front door. There's some steps up there and stuff. Then you come in and there's like a table and pictures and stuff. Then there's the kitchen. There's naked Nolan. Oh my god, that's funny. And then this is like the bed slash couch. So I sleep there and Nolan sleeps there. Nolan sleeps on the air mattress over there. Oh, the master clipboard. Yes, there's mummy. And then this is the bathroom. This is the washing machine. And then if we come out here, this is mommy and daddy's bedroom. And out this door is the outside world. It's like creepy alley or something. And this is where I was just recording. So that's our place, and we fell asleep or something. I don't know. I think we're gonna go to bed.